Hey guys, Jaybro here, and I'm here with a new video. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use T Edit with Terraria Mobile Worlds. Now, unfortunately, this will need a computer in order to work. Hopefully, in the future, there is an app or a website that can help us do this without needing a computer. But as of recording this, as of as of the 22nd of April, there is no other way to do this besides on a computer. Now, as I've said in the past, Terraria 1.3.0 for PC is equivalent or very similar to Terraria 1.3 for mobile. So that means that majority of things that work for Terraria PC 1.3 were for Terraria iOS and Android 1.3. Now, in order to do this, you will need an older version of T-Edit. I will link this in the description. This version of T-Edit was made for 1.3.0 Terraria, which will work with Mobile Worlds. Now, unfortunately, you can't go to all the releases and download the most recent one, even though this has more features and is more stable and it's better to use, but you have to use the one for 1.3.0 or else you will not be able to use your Terraria world back on your phone after you're done editing. So once you download this version, make sure you shock it to a folder like I have, this is a little, a little link for it. I've extracted into here. And this right here, this exe is basically right here, or right here. This is just the other one. I have both versions, the old and the newest. So let me close this. This is all you'll need, t-edit and the world. Now what you need to do is you need to open up t-edit like you would normally. And what you're gonna do, wait for, wait for it to open. Now I have multiple monitors. So this is recording in my second monitor instead of my, uh, what's it called? My first one. Where's my mouse? There it is. So I'm gonna open this up. As you can see, this is what T-Edit looks like. Now what you wanna do is I'm just gonna full screen it and you wanna do file open and you want to open up the world that you have on your computer. Now I'm gonna open up my Jabro world gen error world, which is the one I've showed in one of my videos that has the world gen error. And as you can see, you will see your world through T-Edit. And you can edit this world and you can reload onto your phone and you can change it and add things. It's pretty cool. Now I'm just going to go through and show you this since I haven't really shown it in another video. The uh, corrupted world that I have here. This is what it looks like. You can load up any world that was made for uh, 1.3. So this world right here called Dice Man X Ultimate Hard Mode World is a world that was made for Terraria... PC 1.3, but it also works on mobile. So this world has a bunch of AFK farms for Frost Moon, for Pumpkin Moon, for bosses, for farms. It has a dang computer, a binary computer and everything. This is an insane world. And you can use all this on mobile. And this isn't the point of the video. I just want to show this off because I think this is really cool. What also you can do is you can create a new world. So I'm going to do new. I'm going to name it um, test world. So you create the new world. You can change things about it as you'd like, and then you press OK. And this will create a new world. You can set the spawn. This right here is going to be the spawn. This is how the world looks. Now, the person who created T-Edit, I don't really know the name, it just says T-Edit. What they did is they created T-Edit to work like, uh, what's it called? Paint. Now, if you don't know what Paint is, Microsoft Paint is an application that allows you to draw on images. Now, the person who created T-Edit wanted it to be similar, but for Terraria Worlds. So what I can do is I can grab the pencil or the brush, if anything, and I can select things to make with. So I'm going to take, I don't know, Mithril Brick, and I can draw like as if it was a paintbrush. Then I can do Control-Z to undo. I'm going to make a smiley face. I don't know. You can make anything. It's, really, it's a really cool application, and the person who made this is very talented. I am so bad at pixel art. See this? Smiley face. I can give it a little, I don't know. I'm just fooling around now. So you can do a lot of things. 
I'm going to make a small little house because why not? Let's make it out of snow because I can. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's make it a fancy house or house. And then we can do it a sprites, which is how you put down sprites, what such as banners and everything other than bricks. And I can put in door and it will give me doors. Now I can go through all the doors that are available. Let's do, huh, let's do this slime door. And then I can go over to Sprite and I can place down the door, just like so. And there you go. Now I have the world. Now, I did not mean to open up the sticking tool. Now, what I can do is I can press file, save as, and I can save the world as test world.wld, which is the format for worlds. So I'm gonna press save, and I'm going to close out of tedit, and as you can see, I have test world.wld. Now, if you guys wanna edit the world again, you can open up tedit, and you can you know open it back up and change it around and save it again. And yeah, so I'm gonna cut to my phone where I'm gonna be using Test World. Um, yeah, I will be right back. All right, guys, I'm back on my phone and I am going to be opening up the world. So let's select my character and Test World and let's open it up. Now this looks exactly like I left it. My smiley face, my Goblin Tinker, his name is Bobby, my tax collector named Jimmy who looked like he was having a spaz attack. My angler named Bobby Two. Uh, my mechanic named Chicken. Um, let's see. I hit, is that a golden butterfly? What the heck? I've never seen a golden, okay, this is, okay, sorry. Um, yeah, as I was saying, uh, my smiley face is here. My chests are here, my houses are here, my NPCs are here. Now let's check what's inside the chests. Now inside of tree edit, I set what's inside the chests as well as the chest names. This one is a double V face, this one is a backwards V face, and this one is a V face. So inside of V face, you will, I will have an annoying terror blade and a large terror blade. In here, I'll have three dirt. In here, I'll have 700 Brimbo bricks. Now, I don't know why in the world you'd ever want this Terraria world, but for the sake of this video, I'll have this link in the description. I honestly don't know why you'd ever want it. It is honestly awful, but I know somebody's going to ask for it, so I'm going to just put it in there anyways. So yeah, this is Test World, and this was how to use T-Edit for Terraria Mobile Worlds. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, make sure to smack that like button and subscribe for more Terraria videos. If you guys did, make sure to smack that like button with your nose like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.